impressive. Go on. If you hear a little snore or see a little pug, I've got one right there. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I hope you're good. Please ignore this tan line and please ignore the bare face, even though I always have a bare face. Bit of a different video today. I got pretty bored and I thought, what else should I do other than online shop? So I went online. I'd heard of this brand called Miss A and I thought, let's order some makeup. And let me tell you, it is so cheap. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I was scrolling Twitter, as you do, and I saw a tweet from a girl saying, ladies, hold up, you need to go check out Miss A. Anyway, I went and checked it out and they had literally all makeup you could think of for a pound. Literally 83p. Literally 83p for a foundation. <sighs> no one realised I'm filming a video in this house. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's try it. First things first, these makeup brushes. Look at them. Are they not just the coolest thing? I thought even if they're not good, they'll look good on my dressing table. They feel heavy, but not too heavy that it's going to be an effort to put your makeup on. They feel like good quality, genuinely. Um, they've got the name engraved there, as you can kind of see. The bristles look so sick and it just feels so soft. I'm going to be annoying and not try these in these video, this video because I want to keep them nice. But we've got like a eyeshadow one foundation, uh, foundation blush. That's like an angled stippling brush. And then like an eyeliner one, so chuffed with that. Now this will be the game changer because if you know me, you know that I love NARS foundation. NARS is my dream foundation. However, it's like 35 pound anyway. I tried a different one. I tried the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and it's all right, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but it's just not quite NARS. And again, that's like 35 pound. So these, were 83p, 83p each. They're called Paw Paw Pro Wear Foundation. I've got two different colors. You all right, babe? You just gonna, you gonna sit there? Okay, good girl. Two different colors because I ordered online. Obviously I don't really know what color I am. Well, there you go, we'll try it. But anyway, let's try these. I'll let you know what they're like. This is going to be completely honest. I obviously have nothing to do with this brand, so yeah. It says shake well. Oh, it feels quite liquidy. Oh my gosh, parts of the proceeds protect animals against abuse. Even better. They obviously aren't huge bottles, but I mean, for 83p, I'm not going to be complaining. If they're good. And if they're not, I mean, for like loads of stuff I've got down here, I got it for like 20 quid. So what's this like? It literally smells of paint. <laughs> it smells of paint that you use in like year three. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? It can't be a good thing, surely. Oh, well, let's try it. Right, let's mix the two colours together on the back of my hand. Please also ignore my eyebrows. Oh my gosh. I usually get them done like every three to four weeks and obviously with this lockdown we can't. Okay, that looks quite nice actually. Looks a lot darker on my hand than it does in the bottle. So I'm glad I got a lighter one just to mix it. Gosh, that's very light. But hopefully, mm. I mean, my hand is quite tan, my face doesn't really tan, but I am going to put a primer on. I didn't buy a primer because I've got this one and I love it, so I thought it was pretty pointless, but I'm going to put this on because this definitely does affect how my foundation goes on. And so, might as well be fair. Right, that was the most mismatched way to put primer on, but it's all good. Okay, get my hair out of my face. 
Mmm, look at me, lovely. Okay, that has gone a far way. I've still got so much on my hands. Is that even a word? Far way. And I'm using you as a camera. So, I mean, a mirror. I've got quite a few spots down here as well, so let's see how it covers them up. And obviously, I'm just gonna blend and blend and blend for a while. Putting it on, the one thing I would say is it does feel a bit dry, but that could also be because my makeup brush has not been used in like eight weeks. I'm not one of those gals that's been putting makeup on in lockdown. Hate to break it to you, but it's definitely full coverage but in a nice way like I genuinely don't feel like I've caked it on and I think my skin looks great you know apart from here obviously but it's covered up not too bad I like that bearing in mind that is 83p I think my skin looks pretty good Okay, genuinely, that foundation, I'd give that a good 8 out of 10. I mean, it hasn't been on my face for a while, so I don't know what it's going to wear like. I don't know if it's going to bring me up in a rush, fingers crossed, touch wood. So, for now, we're good. I like it. Next thing I bought is a mascara. And again, this was, oh, it doesn't have the prices on here. It was like 60p or something. Or a pound okay looks nice has a good sound let's give this a go it's gonna be hard with no mirror I am quite lucky I have quite long eyelashes anyway but obviously mascara helps it was like quite a light mascara which I like because my eyes are quite sensitive and so it irritates my eyes if I have too much mascara on. So this is going on quite lightly. Definitely more of an everyday mascara, but that I like. That's nice. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. What the hell's just happened? I'm impressed with that. Bear in mind. I either usually wear the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um, or Benefit They're Real or I am a Falsies fan but again Falsies is like £8 so if you were buying this you'd save a pound uh, pound? yeah if you are buying this you'd save a good £7 on each each go so so far eyes skin I think it looks okay Melissa decided she now wants to go out. Cool. I did buy two eyeliners, gel and a liquid, but I am so bad at eyeliner. I actually bought them more to practice with than anything. So I'm not going to try these on camera, but I will keep you updated in a future vlog once I've tried it out and I can actually do it well because I want to get good at cat eye eyeliner. So I mean, I can do it, but it takes me like half an hour. Hey, babes future vlog I will rate these but for now we've just got everything else to rate this again is a hair treatment I will do this in a future vlog as well I realize this is so pointless probably filming this video because I've got like four things to rate but hey who cares not me so so far found it pro wear foundation this is called she makeup mega volume mascara I've also just realised I did buy a beauty blender and it did arrive, but I don't know where it is. So I can't test that. I should have tested that with the foundation. Hey ho. Right, next thing. Let's try the highlighter. This is the AOA Powlighter Studio. That makes it sound good, right? Mills, please stop licking because they're going to be able to hear you in camera. Millie? Millie? Mills, stop. Good girl. Plastic off. To be fair of them there's a fair bit of plastic but there's not too much oh look at that 
that looks nice. I don't really know how to apply this. Oh, that is nice. I'm going to use this lid bit because there's loads on the back and I'm going to use my new brush, fan brush. And this fan brush, swear to you, was like 70p. It's called F17 Small Fan Brush. And again, it just looks really classic. Anyway, I've got some on the end here. Let's give this a go. I've never really used a fan brush before doesn't feel very practical putting it on and I can't see much shimmer coming off that thought it would be better than that can you see a glow in the camera mm, maybe that's not being on enough should we just go in with the pot oh my gosh this is going everywhere I mean if shimmer doesn't come off of that Oh, okay. Obviously, I need to blend that in. <laughs> okay, I think I put too much on the brush. <coughs> <coughs> but, look at that. I genuinely think it's not really showing in this this side because of the cam, because of the light. Definitely gone too far down the cheek. Should have come up here a little bit. Should we add a little bit more? Yeah, why not? Oh my god, it's all over my duvet. Maybe this brush isn't the most practical. Hey ho, I like the brush. Feels nice. Looks nice. It's just applied a bit dodgy, but I love it. Look at that glow. That for like 60p. Whatever it was, I just need to find out how to be more of a pro in applying it because if you could see the state of my duvet right now. Look, I love that. I genuinely didn't expect any of this stuff to be this good. Anyway, last but not least, we've got two lipsticks. And look at these in a wine bottle. That is so cool. So one's a matte um, nude and one's a matte red. It's a, literally just a standard liquid lipstick. And how do I get this off? Right, let's go for the red first. Oh, proper red. I'm just going to apply it on my bottom lip because I don't want to wear red out and red lipstick often stains my lips, so. Okay. That. Look at the colour on that. And it applied so well. You saw how easy that went on. I love it. Let it dry a bit, go a bit matte. So this is just called the Malibu Glitz 24 Hour Wear Soft Matte Lip Cream in a little wine bottle, which I just think is so cute. I love it, honestly, I love it. I think I might, I'm gonna have to do the top. Right, let's just ignore my top lip because it's wonky and it always takes me about five hours to do it correctly. Or else it looks like I've got wonky lips. But, and ignore the fact I'm wearing pink or red lipstick. I love that. This whole makeup look has literally been created in a pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, like four pound fifty, five pound, five to six pound. I am so impressed. And now I'm buzzing to try this one. I love a nude that is such a nice colour so let me go and wipe this off I definitely should have done this one after but it's fine wipe this one off and then we'll try this one this one I like it it's classic standard nude lip oh the highlighter I love it you know what I am super impressed if my eyebrows were not as they are. This look, for five to six pounds for the whole look, whatever it is, incredible.
can't wait to try the makeup brushes out kind of wish i just did it but they just look so nice excuse my hair i don't know why it's so flicky but yeah there we have it the finished look for five to six pounds should have get the red lip on because it looked way more drastic but i like this look perfect for a little dog walk going to the supermarket because that's about all we can do nowadays that highlight so there we have it that has been it testing out one pound makeup for you all i enjoyed it i mean i haven't put makeup on in legit eight weeks so it's been great and testing out a pound stuff for you has been amazing i genuinely would recommend trying this out it seems to be good quality stuff i mean they're going against animal testing which is obviously 100 percent um supported over here and it all just felt really good i mean probably the mac the bobby brown the nars all of that jazz that's probably not doesn't take much to make so i don't think this is bad quality stuff as i've said it feels like it's good so that probably made no sense what i just said but i know what i'm trying to say in my head and i hope you knew what i was trying to say <laughs> yeah there we have it i really hope you enjoyed if you did please smash the thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you're not already we're nearly at 160 and i want to get there so bad so yeah if you enjoyed this video please do let me know and in the future vlogs i'll be sure to keep you updated on the hair mask and the eyeliners so yeah let me know what you thought leave a comment down below always appreciated and i'll see you next sunday with another video see you then bye